hey guys welcome back to my channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this behance logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in adobe photoshop now i have this behance logo over here you can easily get this logo from google now first thing we need to do we need to remove this blue color so i'll go to the select i'll choose color range and with the help of the speaker i'll choose this blue color and for the is 200 and simply hit ok so it will select this entire blue color and simply hit delete then hit ctrl d then i'll create a new layer and i'll hit alt backspace to apply this blue color on the separate layer and i'll drag it down and i'll lock this color now select this layer and press m for sele rectangle selection tool and i'll select this b then i'll hit ctrl x to cut i'll create new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll hide this now we have to follow this procedure for all of them and we will hide it Now our each and every subject is on separate layer. I'll save this Photoshop file in my computer and then we will go to the Adobe After Effects. We'll create a new composition and as always we'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 seconds and background color I'll choose black color over here and simply hit OK and hit OK choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action then press ctrl i on keyboard to import our logo file i have this logo over here which is our same logo file so i'll select this logo import as composition footage layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok don't change anything over here simply double click on it and i'll select all of them hit ctrl c to copy go to main animation and hit ctrl v and simply drag it over here now we need to adjust the size so for that i'll right click new and i'll create one null object i'll select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it down just like that and now it's adjusted so i'll delete that null we don't need that anymore and for now we will hide this all of them and now we have to focus on our animation portion so i'll select my ellipse tool I don't want any fill for now so I'll delete the fill the only thing I want over here is stroke so I'll choose white color for the stroke and simply hit ok with the help of shift I'll create one ellipse then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this text not text but shape layer go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling options scale 0 create one keyframe go around one second and let's increase this size like that and now go to the start in the search bar i'll type stroke and i'll create one keyframe then hit u and go over here and let's make the stroke with zero and initially let's make it to not 300 but 200 so if we hit play we'll get something like that now select the shape layer hit ctrl d we will hide the second one hit u so we can see that i don't want this stroke animation so i'll delete the stroke animation and in the stroke i don't need the stroke so i'll delete the stroke the only thing i want over here is this fill and for the fill color we will choose this background color so we have to pick up the color code so for that what we will do we'll press ctrl y to create a solid background and over here as you can see we have this color and we have this picker with the help of the speaker i'll choose this color and click on it and as you can see we will get this color code for up here so select this color code hit ctrl c to copy and hit ok and i'll cancel it then go to the main i'll select the shape layer and in this fill i'll simply paste this color and hit ok 
and now i'll decrease the scale something like that so we'll get something like this now if i see my animation will look something like that now we will select both the layers we will hit f9 we'll go to the graph editor we will select this graph and with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here so i'll get something like that now our this animation is ready now we will create this uh, another ellipse with the fill color white so i'll choose white color and with the help of shift i'll create an ellipse like that select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and from over here i'll choose separate color like that then i'll select this i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe over here go to around 20 frames move this at the top and 1.10 frames i'll copy the first keyframe like that like that then right click new and create one null object select the shape layer and make it apparent with this null tool select this null tool press r for rotation create one keyframe and go over here and let's make it one complete rotation and if you see we will get something like that now at this point i'll move this a little bit over here now select the both the keyframes and i think we need to select this keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph move this handle over here and this handle over here and let's see what we can get we'll get something like that now select those keyframes hit f9 yeah we will get something like this now select both the all the keyframes and with the alt hold we will reduce the size of it somewhere around like that yep now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as let's call it as circle and hit ok now i'll rotate it press r for rotation and something like that so if we see we'll get something like this now select this and drag it over here now as you can see we have this logo over here so from that we will choose this b and e we will select these three and we will drag them at the top and press v for selection tool and i'll move them over here like that now we to we need to animate them to so select this b and all of them press p p for position create one keyframe go to around 20 frames and again create one keyframe go at the start select this b move this over here select this e both these layers and move them over here select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here like that so as you can see we'll get something like this so we will hide this thing for now now we will select this circle and we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for effect called echo so double click on it we will increase the number of echoes to 20 and in the echo time i'll delete this three and type zero over there and instead of full i'll choose quarter so we'll get something like this now as you can see this line is touched this at this point i mean around let's say 25 frames so i'll select this b i'll move this thing over here i want this to animate from this point and now as, as you can see we have this ellipse over here so i'll move this thing over here now i'll select this circle i'll hit ctrl d duplicate it and press r for rotation and i'll move it something like that let's rotate it like that now 
I'll move this thing over here which is our E select this and move it over here like that now as you can see these are not properly at the center too so for that I'll create one null object select both these three layers and make it apparent with this null 3 and I'll move them at the center like that if you see this we'll get something like that yep this looks good to me now select this layer go to the effect or instead of that select all of them press ctrl shift c and we'll call it as be let's say and hit ok now as you can see we have this blue color here over here hit ctrl d which is our shape layer drag it at the top of the b and let's call this layer as mask and hit ok select this third one and choose alpha map now if you see we will get this kind of animation like that now select this mask and make it apparent with this shape layer which is our blue color shape layer go inside this p and i'll select this e and i'll just move it a little bit backward let's say like that yep, this looks good to me now after that select this e shape layer and press s for scaling option create one keyframe and at this point i'll increase the size of it select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph move this over here like that select those keyframe hit f9 again go to the graph select this graph and with the help of shift i will move this graph like that yep this looks good to me because we have parented this mask with this shape layer so this size of this mask is also gonna increase with that now we will select all the remaining photoshop layers which is our remaining logo layers and we will select these layers and we will hit ctrl x to cut and we will go to this be composition and we will hit ctrl v and we will adjust the position like that open bracket and move it them over here and go at this point i'll go inside it select all this b and e stuff press p for position create one keyframe and let's say at this point i'll move this thing so here select those keyframes and hit f9 select those things like that and i'll adjust the positions like that yep this looks good to me press p for position create one keyframe then t for opacity create one keyframe hit u to see both of them go over here again create another keyframes and at this point i'll move them over here and let's make it zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and with the help of shift i'll move this over here like that now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph select this graph with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here and with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here and we will select all these layers we'll move it over here hit page down button select this a hit page down button with the help of open bracket i'll shift those things over here So as you can see we will get this kind of animation. Now if I see this thing in my main animation, 
you get this easy logo reveal of Behance logo so this is gonna be my final output I'll choose the full resolution it will take a little bit time to render because we have applied this eco effect on this circle composition so as you can see this is our simple logo reveal of Behance logo So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.